I'm not gonna lie. This is probably the most frustrating part of the game that we're about to get into here. I've heard a lot of people just gave up on this game once they reached this part. I'm about to explain why, so get ready. The first part of this mission is a little arena where you have to destroy cars until you're allowed to go to the next part of the stage. Now, right away, that doesn't sound too bad, does it? I mean, it sounds like a natural fit for a game like this, but twisted metal this game is not. This game's engine just isn't that well designed for this kind of gameplay. For starters, ramming the other cars doesn't damage them, and your machine guns don't work either. The only other offensive weapons you have are your rockets, but even they have their own problems. Number one, these rockets have a lot of splash damage. Blow up a car next to you, and then that's about a third or a quarter of your health just gone right there. Number two, these rockets only fire forward. By the time you've turned your car around to shoot a rocket, the enemy cars are already right in your face. See problem one. Number three, these rockets are hard to aim. You alternate firing rockets on the left and right sides of your car. This makes it tricky to fire off many shots accurately, and it's easy to forget which side of the car the next rocket will fire on. In Agent, this isn't all that bad. You only have to destroy eight cars, but in Double O Agent, you have to destroy 18 of them. You're going to die a lot here, so get used to it. However, there is still hope. There is one semi-consistent way to get through this part of the mission. The enemy cars all spawn out of a little alleyway, and there can only be two of them active at the same time. Every time you destroy a car, another one instantly spawns in the alley. What you want to do is spawn trap them in there. Destroy one or both cars, and then immediately aim at the spawning point. Shoot a rocket every time you see a car come out of the alley. This is by far the fastest and easiest way to get through this part. You can only carry 10 rockets max though, so expect to have to reload midway through. Might be a cheap tactic, but if the game's cheap to me, then I am cheap right back. Also, here are some alternative tricks. You might see four crates around the arena. You can trick the enemy cars into running into these, and then they'll blow up. It's not hard to do, since their AI is programmed to just drive straight at you once they see you. Also, if you do need to fire rockets on cars chasing you, this is the best way to do it. Turn your car around and drive backwards. Let yourself get hit. When the enemy cars hit you, they stop for a few seconds. This gives you enough time to back away and shoot a rocket without getting hit by the splash damage. Once you get past this little arena part, the rest of the mission's really not all that bad. As soon as you destroy the last car, a stinger missile should appear. What you want to do is pick that up and use it to blow open a fence to get to the next arena. The rear screen is titanium laced with carbon web. In this arena, you'll face off against two forklifts. You could try to shoot them in the back to damage them, but it's a lot easier to just trick them into hitting the exploding crates. Keep circling until you find its weak side exposed. Once both forklifts are destroyed, take the Stinger missile from the last forklift. Use it to blow open this door. You'll want to drive down to the end of this hallway. At the end of this hallway is a window. Drive through it to get to the next building. Once you're in the next room, you should see a ramp leading downwards. Go down this ramp and you will collect the EMP gadget. What you want to do is use the EMP gadget to destroy all 10 servers in this part of the level. Just park next to them, activate your EMP, and let it do its job. The EMP gadget only shoots out of the right side of your car. Thus, it's best to drive around the rooms counterclockwise to destroy all the servers. The next server room works pretty much the same way. Just drive around the room counterclockwise again and destroy all the servers. You can completely ignore the guards if you want, because the servers drop more health. Via 007.
objective attained, 007. After the last server is destroyed, just drive through this window to complete the mission. Well done, 007. It's good to see you, and more importantly, the car, emerge relatively unscathed. Well, congratulations. You've just beaten one of the toughest missions in the game. If you can get this far, then you should be able to beat the rest of the game. Hope that makes you feel at least a little bit better after all the suffering you've probably gone through to get here. Anyway, I'll see you in Mission 4.